This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today, I want to talk about some great news for Bitcoin mining. We have Jack Dorsey's block, ticker XYZ. This is the company that was previously known as Square, and they've released a brand new Bitcoin mining rig. In other words, an ASIC called the Proto Rig, and I'll put a link to this in the description notes below. This is what it looks like. Now, why is this important? It's important because most Bitcoin mining rigs are made currently by two large companies in Asia. We have Bitmain, which is the largest and most well-known manufacturer of Bitcoin mining rigs or ASICs like Ant Miners, for example. Bitmain also uses its own mining rigs in various large Chinese mining pools, including Ant Pool. And Bitmain supported the big blockers and the block size wars and has a long history of doing really sketchy things like trying to include firmware that could allow mining rigs to be bricked remotely. This happened back in 2017, I believe. So you have to assume that Bitmain and all the Chinese mining pools are ultimately controlled by the CCP. Then there's also MicroBT that makes the What's Miner and whose founder used to work at Bitmain. So this is a very small, incestuous network, you can imagine. It's not surprising that highly specialized chips like ASICs are mostly made in Asia, in Shenzhen, in Taiwan, and South Korea. But it's definitely not a good thing given the current geopolitical situation. Now, fortunately, these mining rigs, once sold, are spread out all over the world in every country on Earth. So it's not like Bitmain or MicroBT still has control over them, assuming no firmware or hardware backdoor. And people are obviously always looking for these, so we'd probably be able to spot them, but you never know for sure. Also, fortunately, we still have a few builders left in Bitcoin, like Jack Dorsey, for example, who are obsessed with building real-world products rather than just doing a lot of financial engineering like Bitcoin treasury companies, for example. I'm going to pause really briefly here to ask you, if you're finding this video interesting so far, please help to support this channel's educational mission. Hit the subscribe button. That really helps. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video, and share this video with a friend or family member. This is an article back from 2017 about the brick capability that Bitmain had where they could shut down your ant miner remotely. I'll put a link to that in the description notes below. So what makes the proto rig so important? As we've been discussing, number one, made in the U.S. by a U.S. company. That's a good thing to see in terms of geo geopolitical diversification. Number two, very impressive team assembled by Jack Dorsey, who has a stellar track record of building and investing in successful companies, obviously like Twitter, X, Square, Block, and many others. Modular design as well for these proto rigs. It's easy to quickly swap out parts like the hash board to repair or to replace. So you end up having less downtime and more revenue from mining. This sort of modularity means that you don't need as many highly trained people to do maintenance and cleaning on rigs as well as you can imagine. Number four, this rig, this mining rig is paired with powerful and free and open source software called Fleet Mining Management Software Evolved. And it sounds like this is much easier and much more user friendly and much more detailed than the sort of clunky software that comes with Bitmain's miners or MicroBT's miners. Like most industrial strength Bitcoin mining rigs, these are going to be really loud machines. So definitely not something that you want to keep inside your house, maybe in your garage if you can insulate it. And it could also be prohibitively expensive. Obviously, if you live for example, the U.S. and one of the major cities, it could be quite expensive to mine at home using residential electricity rates. That's not recommended. So if you want a quiet, lower power solution that will actually teach you a lot about Bitcoin mining instead, you can get something like the BitAx or the NerdAx. I'll put a link to this in the description notes below, as well as my video about how to mine Bitcoin at home. If you have uh, space for it and if you can uh, deal with noise mit mitigation, the proto rig, we don't know how much it's going to cost yet. Probably, uh, probably a few thousand dollars, poss possibly more, but that would be a solution. But if you want something really low power and that won't use a lot of electricity, you're probably not going to mine a block or find any Bitcoin, uh, though there is a chance. So that's why we call this lottery, lottery mining. And you can also mine with a pool like Ocean, and then you can earn a few sats by mining at home. So I definitely recommend that. If we take a look at how the proto rig compares to Bitmain's products, we see the power efficiency here for the rig. Uh, it says as low as 14.1 joules per terahash. Joules per terahash just measures how much energy the machine consumes in order to do a trillion hashes. A terahash is a trillion hashes. So this is how Bitcoin mining works with SHA-256. So that was, what did we say, 14, as low as 14.1 joules per terahash. The new Bitmain miner that's coming out, the S23, this is a future, so it's shipping in January of 2026. It's, it's uh, currently estimated to be by Bitmain themselves at 9.5 joules per terahash. I think their current machines are something like 12 
joules per terahash. So this, there is an arms race here. Bitmain is the incumbent. They have the really large foundries, etc., in Asia. But it's still very good to see. Uh, as we said, terahash is a measurement, uh, unit of measurement representing one trillion hashes per second. So that is correct. Now the proto rig's not currently able to match Bitmain mining rigs energy efficiency, but that doesn't mean it won't be highly popular still, especially depending on proto rig's price point, how much money can be saved due to proto rig's modularity, and also depending on what sort of trade restrictions, obviously, or tariffs Donald Trump decides to put on imported mining rigs. And this can obviously change day by day, week by week. If taking all these things into consideration, it might turn out that Proto-Rig is the best choice for you or for some other Bitcoin mining operation in the U.S. and elsewhere, especially if you don't like supporting or having to trust CCP connected companies. This is from an article in Decrypt announcing the product Thursday. Block said that the machine dubbed the Proto-Rig will last 10 years instead of the typical three to five year lifespan. Proto-Rig's design means that engineers can upgrade individual parts of the machine like the hashboards without buying a new rig entirely. Block said that the new rig would cut costs for miners by 15 to 20% each upgrade cycle. So that's part of the calculation as well in terms of the pricing of these. It's sometimes easy to lose track of how much Block has been doing for the Bitcoin ecosystem. As Entropy Capital writes here, XYZ is the only full stack Bitcoin company. They have Square doing Bitcoin payments. They have Cash App doing exchange and Lightning compatible hot wallets. BitKey, which is their self-custody cold storage solution. And now they have Proto and the firmware so bitcoin mining infrastructure there's no way around it if you believe in bitcoin you believe in blocks so i'm grateful to jack dorsey for investing in all these companies and rolling out real infrastructure instead of just doing bitcoin treasury companies and i believe jack dorsey is also the largest investor in ocean mining so he definitely is helping the ecosystem in many different ways if you want to see the announcement the initial unveiling from proto i'll put a link to this in the description notes below this was their launch as well as you can follow proto on x i'll put a link to this and then there's a video i thought that was quite good uh, from tftc uh, parker lewis and marty ben talking about bitcoin mining so this is about two hours of pretty in-depth information i'll put a link to this in the description notes below as well if you enjoy this video be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when i publish my next video and let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video